Ian Shorrington, Chief Instructor here at Glamour Lodge. And what I'd like to do uh, here is introduce you to our Avalanche uh, Transceiver Training Park. Very lucky in that uh, in conjunction with Anatom and Backcountry Access, a couple of our sponsors, we've been able to create a facility here. The idea being that people who own transceivers can come here free of charge, rescue teams will do it, uh, the public will do it, and they can practice in the use of their transceivers. We're here at the Information Board, and what you'll find here is that there's a lot of great stuff that will help you with the process of finding somebody using a transceiver. The nice thing is that as well as finding information here, you can, from our website, follow the links and it will take you through to lots of educational videos and also lots of things you can print off and have a read of and bring with you that will help you use our park. To get access to the park, if you're not on a course, all you have to do is pre-book, arrive and they'll give you access to the control box here. When you get, get it opened, very, very straightforward. All we really need to do is, you'll see in the box here, there's a series of switches and what that does is it allows us to turn on or off various very transceivers in different combinations. Searching here at the park is a little different to doing on snow. As you can see, we've found the buried uh, transceiver here and we've probed exactly as normal. Obviously, we're not looking for a body down there, so what we have got are some wooden strike plates. You can you feel it really easily, you can't hear it so well. At this stage, once you've identified the, 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 the buried transceiver, that's it done. You go and find the, the other one or you change the configuration. Please, please don't dig it up. And what we'd also recommend is that you use our steel probes that are here. They're just a little bit easier to go through the wood.